this order is formatted for mobile applications, so you can view it right on your phone. It's not all screwy and everything. Uh, so you have an email copy of your order. All right. So uh, then the next step would be on our end. And we're going to get your order. And if you're shipping, we'll get a freight quote. I just want to walk through that real quick so you can see the update process. So we'll get your order, and uh, if we're going to put freight on it, we'll put freight on it for you. Uh, if we need to change some things, uh, it's important. There's, there's no stock checking on there because so, our stock moves way too fast to do that uh, this time of year. So uh, if, if we need to make subs, it'll be like a normal situation when, where the sales rep would call you and sub you out. Um, when you guys are satisfied that the order's in final format, he'll change the status to confirmed. Okay. And then it'll notify you again. Status of your order has changed. The new status is confirmed. Send you a link right to the order. Oh, it opened up over here. You can see there it, uh, now there's a, the freight I put in there. So you get an updated copy with the freight on it for you. Okay? Uh, at that point, you'll get another notification when it ships, and our new automated uh, inventory system in the warehouse will automatically send you packing slips, bills of lading, tracking numbers, all, all that stuff uh, when it ships, provided that we have an email address on file. So definitely make sure, uh, even if you're not interested in online ordering, uh, to give us an email address for the other part. That way you can get that stuff uh, immediately rather than have to wait on, you know, someone to call you back and all that stuff. So, a uh, couple other things. Uh, that's, that's basically the online ordering process. So I said it's not, we didn't reinvent the wheel, but hopefully it will make it a lot more simple for you. Um, now we've got some, some, uh, some things here that I hope, you know, some people have told me some things that they're looking for, and I hope these tools will make it easier for you guys in your store. Um, on the actual item page, there's several things you can see. And this is pending availability. Obviously, we don't have videos of snakes. So, but most of our 500-gram cakes, a lot of our 200-gram cakes, all of our artillery, things like that. So uh, if you need a full, a high-res uh, image of an item, you could just click right there and download it right to your computer, okay? Uh, so you have access to the entire library. If I have a high-res image of it, you have a high-res image of it, okay? Uh, if you just want to watch the video real quick, uh, this will stream it directly from YouTube. So uh, you don't have to download those huge files like you used to to watch stuff. Okay. Media formats. Uh, it's a 720p MP4 file, which will play in iTunes on almost every computer. Uh, it, it's not everything is 720p, but everything is coded to 720p. 720 is a high def standard. Uh, hopefully, uh, within the next year, we'll have everything reshot in high def, because uh, that seems to be the way it's moving. That seems to be what everybody wants. Uh, M4V is iPhone, iPad, iPod compatible. Uh, that's a really nice tool. You can uh, get these files. You can download them all uh, and put them on if you have an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch or an iPad. And you have a nice little tool to show people instantly if they, you know, if they say, what's this do? Oh, just look right here. You can pull it right up. So that's a nice little thing to have. I've also put uh, transcoded DVD tracks uh, right on the website. And they're MPEG-2 layered files, uh, AC3 audio. So you can throw them right on, a on your own DVD and make your own DVD if that's something you guys want to do. Uh, 
the technology is there. Um, the, the only other thing I say about the product page is there's a review section and we love to get some input back, guys. If there's something that you absolutely hate, please don't hesitate to let us know. I mean, th there is a review on it just so people don't post profanity and stuff, but we, we will not censor it. We want to know if it's no good because we can't approve unless you tell us. So please feel free to get on here and if you really like it, let us know. If you really don't like it, let us know. So I, I think I've covered, uh, you know, the basics uh, that I wanted to cover today. Um, this is obviously just step one for us. Uh, there's a lot of things that we want to do, but this was the main piece. Uh, sorry, I can't see the cursor. <laughs> Okay, this is the main thing that we wanted to do for you guys. Uh, I, I think I really think this would be a great tool for you because it'll let you it'll let you over time build your orders, see exactly where you're at, not have to uh, worry about uh, you know salesmen calling you back. They get busy. They, I know they do a really good job, but uh, this will hopefully facilitate that order submittal process a little bit for you. Um, we are looking at May third to take the new site live. Uh, and from then on, we'll have updates to it every day. We'll update something regardless. So uh, right now, May 3rd, uh, should be online when you wake up uh, Monday morning on May 3rd. That's the goal. And like I said, the future is, is we have a three-year plan. Uh, it involves total automation in every facet of the business. Uh, hopefully, it'll it, areas that maybe not necessarily can... Uh, concern you guys, but they will inevitably make your lives a lot easier. So uh, hopefully I'm up here next year with something new and better. And uh, I, I really think that we, we have the committed resources for that. So uh, with that, I really I thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them.